where did Triumph, the <laughs> insult comic dog, come from? Where, so, where did that happen? Well, I was the first head writer at the Conan show. Conan sure. was a great friend of mine at SNL, and he wanted yeah. me to be his head writer. And I was like locked in, like, okay, this is it was the most thrilling job I've ever had. And I didn't want us to do anything that Letterman had done. Letterman was all about found humor, like making the stage hands do bits. Yeah. And like for Westminster, he had his joke was oh, there's Triumph. He had <laughs> his joke was to have live dogs from Westminster just <clears throat> excuse me, run up the aisles. Sure. You know, and, and it was very funny. But so meanwhile, I'm a newlywed at this time mm -hmm. and I go to a furniture store with my wife shopping and there's like a whimsical rack of puppets, mm -hmm. uh, puppet heads. And they're all like incredibly realistic dog. And like, there's also a sheep and a cat. And, uh, and I laugh really hard at the realism of this. And I've never seen a puppet that realistic. So I quickly put a dog uh, puppet on my hand and sniff my wife's ass with it <laughs> in the middle of the store. And of course she thought it was hilarious and that's why she's still my wife. <laughs> she's the perfect woman. And, um, but then she surprised me mm -hmm. like my birthday was like two months later. She, she brought home seven of these puppets yeah. for my birthday. And then the Westminster was happening right then. And I was like, well, so what if our version of this? Cause my, my mantra was we're going to be the show that makes stuff up, not, done no found humor yeah so it was like what if we say oh the dogs are just getting more talented every year and so we would have like a dog sing the theme from the bodyguard or dogs do dueling banjos and one dog eventually like sawed another dog in half or another dog could light his own farts oh the best was there was a dog who was like a jack nicholson impersonator sure so you know how that hacky jack nicholson move where the you know you i'm jack nicholson we had a little dog puppet put a little paw over his forehead i'm jack nicholson they all talked with russian accents that was another rule that was, i said that's down. where that came from with the uh, russian accent is something i've just heard in my head since i was like a for kid. triumph for You're dogs saying, for dogs okay, for just dogs in general. i have russian grandparents i don't know where it came from but i always heard <laughs> russian accent when dogs would speak in my head and so triumph finally like four years later i just call up i wasn't even part of the show regularly yeah i just said to john groff the head writer i got can we do another one of those uh because we would do them every year uh another westminster because I, I just thought of insult comic and the whole joke is that he doesn't have any jokes he just says a compliment and then for me to poop on <laughs> and like the whole joke was on triumph and it worked really well but then we realized that he could actually make jokes and, and be kind of relief for Conan's audience. Cause Conan didn't have like a level guests. A lot of times it's like John Tesh, you know, and <laughs> the audience is like, okay, Conan's very polite. This is all very nice, but it is John Tesh. And then triumph would come on and just tear John Tesh apart. <laughs> so it was like catharsis for the audience. They were so happy. So we would do this with Hasselhoff, William Shatner, so Triumph was like the most popular character on the show, well, even before he ever went on the. What did he say to notes. Shatner? What did do? I mean, well, all I remember is you know he made fun of his acting and said uh, you know he imitated his acting. You know, Spock, we must do this. And then he <laughs> says, "Yes, that's tremendous acting for me too, Poupon." <laughs> <laughs> I know we weren't allowed to do two pay jokes. I had one and I didn't do it. It oh, was something like, oh. yeah, yeah. What's that on your hair? That looks like a Pomeranian I stooped last week. <laughs> but we passed on that one. Is a cigar like a Groucho Marx touch? Is that what the that was? The cigar was like just an old vaudeville move. Because okay. he's like a borscht belt comedian. So that's all that was. And he, the gold bow tie, Deb Shaw, the costume designer, just did that for me. She just came up with that on her own. Which person or group of people did Triumph insult the most? Oh, the Oh, uh, he, definitely Michael? like Star Wars yeah. type nerds and Comic Con <laughs> nerds. That's always the that, most fun. That's because... you pissed off the most, like really. No, no, like no. Really they're not pissed off. That's the joy. I, okay. I like it better when people aren't pissed off. Okay, I, and sometimes too. it's better television yeah. when they are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but for me, I like when people are kind of like able to laugh at themselves, and I don't have to feel bad. <laughs> so they're all lining up. They were all lining up. The Star Wars nerds who were online for Star Wars, they were like, I was like Don Rickles to them. Like, like please like, insult me. Yes, yeah, so like when I met Don Rickles at the Conan show, it was like thrilling. Yeah, you know, sure. And he just, you know, of course, he everybody who meets him, he has an insult for because he knows that's what they want. 
So he looked at me and he said, hello, rabbi. <laughs> Which then I heard later was the first thing he ever said to Jon Stewart, too. Oh, perfect. So he's got, he's got a little bit of a, oh, a bag of tricks. Oh, my thing. gosh. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.